Good morning, Evan. Did, did you see what I did? Again. It stinks. Did you see what I did here? Again. No, did I didn't what the, see what you did. Look. I mean, I just don't want him to eat it more. <clears throat> so Evan likes to eat the windowsill. Oh my gosh. These blinds. Oh, it's too long. Evan ate the windowsill, and so Gilbert put this here so Evan doesn't eat it. <laughs> he leaked again. Okay, new mattress cover and new pads. He had little splots of pee. I don't know how he does this. We have to find a better solution for his night diapers. This is our countdown to Christmas, okay? Okay. Now, this is what we do. We were supposed to start this on December 1st, but we didn't. Okay, I finally got a better one. So, no. December 1st, okay? December 1st. Yeah, December 1. December 1. Okay, it, that already passed. And December this is December 2. December 2. December 3. December 4. December 5. December 6. And what day is it today? December 7th. That's right. Do you want to take out December 7th? Take it out. Yay! Yay. Here we are. <laughs> Vlogmas. Vlogmas. December 7th. special day because today is my father's birthday. Today is Grandpa James' birthday. Dad, you always had a strong faith. Faith in God, or as you say, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. Last I lay down, I will cling to the 
then light appeared. To the old rugged cross, I will never be true. Its shame and reproach gladly bear. Then he'll call me someday to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll share. So you'll cherish the old rugged For, for more, you observe me. I wish I met him. Evan met him. I wish I met him too. Evan, you met Grandpa James, right, Evan? Right, Evan? Evan. Right? Yeah. Today we're going to honor Grandpa James. Grandpa James is my daddy. You know, we all have a daddy. Well, Grandpa James was my daddy. That means he's your grandpa. And he's looking down at us from heaven. Heaven. Uh -huh. It's Saturday morning, and we are going to go get some stuff for Christmas. Christmas. We're going to buy gifts for our families and we yeah. got to <laughs> we got to send the gifts soon via mail because we are going to be in Seattle for Christmas which I actually have a hard time accepting. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I okay, we're home now. We're home. Okay, and I actually wanted to tell Gilbert what happened. We went we were at the store. We were buying stuff for gift baskets. And Evan went into a full-on meltdown, and I wanted to tell you about it, but he won't let me tell him. <laughs> okay. I wanted to tell you about it, and he didn't want to be videoed. And so, but he allowed because me to... I'm outside, and it's raining. <laughs> and I'm just standing. But he allowed me to take a video Will to you tell... tell me the story? Yeah, but he, he is allowing me to video him telling the camera that I'm not going to tell the story. So I could have told the story. And I'm in between something right now, so... Evan wants to get out. Okay. <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye. Good job, Evan. Come on, take it off. Come on. We got packages. Do you want to show you, show off your new scarf? Mommy, I made a Rudolph. I'm Rudolph. You're a Rudolph? You have a beautiful new stuff. So, we got Evan oh, a weighted blanket. It's very heavy. Why is it very heavy? It's very, very heavy. You could, I'll show you in a second. Okay. When you stop videoing me. But we're going to take this blanket off. Okay. And, it's really Because Evan ten. likes, oh my, this is very heavy. This is 15 pounds. Oh, it feels much heavier than 15 pounds. Oh my gosh. Oh, woo, that's heavy. Here, you wanna try it? Wanna try it? Yeah. I'm gonna put the blanket on you, okay? Ready? Yeah. How does it feel? Huh? Is it heavy? It's heavy. Yeah, uh, Evan's gonna love it. Sounds, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, it's I really, love it. It's really heavy. Oh, it feels so, I feel so secure. What's oh. secure? Yeah, safe, I feel safe. And I feel safe the too. The is super heavy. Oh my gosh, okay. Hey, my, I'm gonna try it again. Okay, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, thanks, Evan. Oh. <laughs> thanks, Evan. Good night. 
<laughs> you gonna try your weighted blanket? Okay, try it. Come on. Go in bed and try it. Just try it. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to go to bed. I know. Just try it. Lie down. Lie down. You like the weight? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You love it, huh? It's awesome. Makes you feel secure, huh, Evan? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah? Okay. You want to go eat? You want to go eat? Let's go eat. So this is the weighted blanket we bought for Evan. It's from Karma Blanket Innovation and Evolution of Sleep. Okay. So when we were out Christmas shopping today, Evan went into a full-on meltdown. Didn't you, Evan? He hadn't had one of those in public in probably forever. Anyway, but this was, it seemed completely random. Leilani was in the cart, and what I always do is Evan pushes the mm. cart, and he loves pushing the cart. And he, he also, it also anchors him. He keeps his hands on the cart, and it anchors him. And then I can look at stuff, and he's fine just holding on to the cart. I think I have many videos of him just wheeling the cart. So anyway, at some point, we stopped, and then he just started whining and complaining, and he didn't want to hold on to the cart. And then it wasn't even that long after that he's maybe like 10 seconds after he was whining and complaining, he started freaking out more. And then he was like, like kind of like, like going like this with his hands on my face. And so that's when I put my foot down, you know, like I, I don't take crap from, from autism. I don't. So I, you know, I got really firm with him. I grabbed his hands and I'm like, Evan, no, you don't do that. And then he just kept doing it more. Oh my gosh. And then he took his feet and he was doing it with his feet. So I actually had to anchor his feet on the ground by like kind of like putting my feet on top of his so he didn't keep kicking me because it was like, it seemed like he was kicking me. I don't think he was trying to kick me. Anyway, so then he was like, and then he just kept wailing like, eh, like this, but really loud and really like, like, how do you say it? Um, like he was just, he was just really loud. He, he was loud enough to get the attention of people. And there was, there was a woman. Evan, I'm, hey, dude, I'm telling the story of your meltdown. So there was this woman that was in the same aisle as me. She was totally holding the space. She looked like she was probably a mother. I don't know. And she was holding the space for me. I could tell she was understanding me. No judgment whatsoever. But then down the aisle, there was this older, short, kind of chubby woman with afro-looking white hair. And she was staring at me like, like literally, I'm not exaggerating. Her expression was like this. And then I looked at her at some point. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's staring. And so I, I said, hi. I go, oh, hi. Because that's so rude. And then when I said hi, she goes like this. Like literally, I am not kidding. I'm not even exaggerating. She went like this. <laughs> and I stared at her. I was like, are you for real? What was really funny is Gilbert actually does that to me when he's joking around. When he's pretending to be like, when he's just pretending and we're joking around, he'll do that. Evan! <laughs> he'll do that. It was actually not really comical at the moment. I was, I was very triggered. I was very upset. I actually, for maybe about five seconds, I'm like, I got to find that woman and, and talk to her. I was like, I need to know why she was going like this. I don't know. I don't know if she was doing that to me. I figured she was doing that to me, but maybe she was trying to do that to Evan. <laughs> I don't know. It's just so weird. Like I hear stories about this happening in public with other children with autism and a lot of adults look at the parents and kind of judge the parents. 
and like mm -hmm. act like the parents can't control the kid or the parents don't know how to raise a kid and that's why the kid is being bratty but and that's why like there's these cards that you could buy you buy it on amazon or whatever and they're autism cards and when your child has a full-on meltdown and everyone's staring at you and judging you you just hand out those cards and the cards are basically saying my child has autism he may go into full-on meltdown this is what it looks like it's not like, like i'm a bad parent this is just life for us and i actually never thought that would ever be evan i never actually thought that would be our life because i thought we got a pretty good handle on evan's behavior but he is getting bigger and we are doing other treat i mean we're, we're doing other treatments he's getting different supplements but i just you know this was just a weird one-off like i he had never I mean, I brought him to LA. We brought him to Italy. We brought him to Venice. We, we rode a boat. He rode a plane. He, we brought him to Ireland. We, I mean, we've done so many things with him and he has never gotten this bad. And it was just this one moment in the department store where he went into a meltdown and he's just recovering from, you know, from like a cold. So I don't know, man. So every every day we're we're gonna ask the teachers whether or not you, you got a happy face or sad face, and we're gonna make, put it on the board. Okay. Uh huh. The sad face is when you get in big trouble. Sad face is when you disobey mom or daddy. Sad faces are when you write out on the walls or on your furniture. Sad faces or at are, are or or when you hurt somebody or when you steal something. Sad faces are when you lie to somebody. And don't tell the truth. Or when you talk back. Okay. To your grown-ups. When you talk back. Happy faces are, are um, uh, when you're nice to people and you're generous to people. When you're giving. When you give things. When you okay. when you help others. When you help your brother and mommy and daddy and your friends at school and your mm -hmm. teachers at school. And when you give to other people and mm -hmm. be generous. You get a happy face. Okay? Okay. Okay. So we are, we're only starting it on Friday, yesterday. Yesterday, December. Like, Keone needs to, like, be right in front. <laughs> right front and center. So we started it yesterday. And Lenny's going to get a sad or happy face. So she got two sad faces. And then, by Christmas, on the 25th, mm -hmm. we're going to tell Santa how you did. And if you get more sad faces... Then we get asked Santa if he's still going to bring some gifts. And if you get more happy faces, then you'll get gifts. Yay! But right now, look, look, dude. Keone, can you just I can, move? I can move. I know. Can you move? Can Keone, I... move. <laughs> Go over there. <laughs> I think she has to be right in front. <laughs> Melanie, how many sad faces do you have so far? One, two. Mm-hmm. I'm black and Keone. I know. Like so, yeah. so All right. It. Yeah. Okay. okay. Tomorrow's a new day. I'm just going to end up right here. Okay? Okay. If I be good. If you're obedient and you listen and you get a happy face, then we're going to put it over there on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about getting a happy face? Happy. And you know what, Leilani? Mommy and Daddy want you to get happy faces. Yes. We want you to get happy faces. Okay? Okay.